Hey everybody, Arnold Volker here, Next Innovations. Fun Fridays, we had a little bit of a internet issue. Um, so uh, just uh, getting started today, happy Friday. Um, Tis the season, so I'm gonna put on my hat. I won't be wearing that too much longer. We got snow here in Minnesota. We got 12 inches last week. Um, today we got some featured items that we're doing, uh, and it's uh, and, and if you spend over $75, um, you will get an artist blank, uh, which I should have here in a in a minute. Um, kind of bear with me as we kind of wait for a few people to catch up because I was late. There's a press in the back. I uh, always love to get uh, comments. Hi, Jerry. Thanks for the hat comment. Um, kind of today's featured item is the uh, artist blanks. So they're, they're horizontal and vertical or vertical and horizontal depending on where the holes are. There's six in a pack. Um, we're going to die sublimate those starting out. And for those of you that do not have larger printers, um, you can tape things together with heat tape. So say you have an 8.5 by 11 and you print it twice and then um, basically tape it together. So that's another way to do that. Um, I get this on the press. See if I can't get that fairly centered. We're going to try to do two of them here at once. Um, again, no max pad on the bottom, uh, paper, uh, just your normal cheap craft paper, and then your parts. Make sure they're on the press, and then another layer of craft paper. We'll get that started. Uh, 3 minutes and 45 seconds, 385 degrees. Uh, is there a code for the blank? I'm hoping uh, Erica or uh, uh, Corey can put that in the comments before the end. Um, the uh, code for, uh, sorry, on the free blank is no, just that we're going to be watching. So it's going to run this next week. Um, so if you purchase over $75, you're going to get one free um, artist blank uh, wind spinner. So that's a great question, Jerry. No, uh, no um, co special code is needed. So just a week. So each week during the holidays, we're going to try to add some free things just to get you guys to try them. Um, that's pressing. Um, fold this here. I think some of you were on this uh, maybe last week, but we're going to kind of show this again. How many people have any guesses? You can put in the comments of what this is. It's a brand new product. Excited to get you guys' feedback. Erica just posted the actual, uh, I think that's the link to the uh, frame dart or the uh, wind spinners. Um, if you have any and if you already know what this is, uh, kind of hold off on your guess. But uh, let's see if we can get some guesses on what this is. A belt. It's not a belt. It's not Santa Claus's belt. It's a good guess, though. Here's some different artwork that's going to go, could go on the belt. That's not a belt. <laughs> um, you know, these are just ones that we've created, but you guys will have the opportunity to create 
whatever you want. Hey Sherry, uh, upside down fish. Um, another another patriotic item. So if you have a guess on what that is, and uh, thank you Jerry, you're always good at guessing, but no belt. It's not a box. Last time we somebody guessed that it was a box. It's funny, my phone started dialing Jerry. You know, she's always listening. Um, so you gotta love electronics and technology. Um, so remember this, the free squares. We'll see what those come out like in a minute. Um, here's a two-tone wind spinner that we also have, an eight inch. Um, definitely check out our catalog, the Cottage Blanks catalog. Um, last week we had uh, free scallops if you purchased over $75. Um, this week it's the Artist Blank with squares. So maybe some of you, if you did take advantage of that, post that in the comments. Um, thank you, Talania, for not guessing since you saw it last week. Um, so we're going to maybe also post some scallops. Okay, the press is going off. I'll get my gloves on. So first thing, remember, these things are hot. So sometimes we either have hooks, which is kind of nice, or gloves, or both. Um, I'm going to take this and uh, see. Should be able to just pull the paper off. Paper should be a little bit sticky on there. I'm going to let that other one sit there just for a second to see if we can get a paper stick. Here's what the paper looks like. Um, where the ink is off. So if you have the right run uh, press time, right amount of pressure, the right amount of time, basically all of the ink should be coming off where your part is. Um, so here's kind of a, a fun one. I'll let that cool just a minute. Sometimes what is causes paper sticks is just letting a part sit too long. Um, if you do have a paper stick, just use Windex get it off this one's really cool just kind of yank it off there there's another kind of a fun one um, these blanks do come with uh, swivels you know, and it's a horizontal or vertical. This one happens to be horizontal. Great, uh, four by six, roughly a photo would fit in there so you could put a picture of your family. Um, if you put your thumbs on there, you don't have to bend them when they're warm. They could be um, cooler. So that's a wind spinner. I will, out of today's, uh, in honor of today, we'll get this on our little stand. We do have print uh, stands for displaying. Um, well, this will be a good test. I'm not sure if the 8-inch, I think the horizontal fits, not the vertical. So we'll get this on here and turn this on so you can kind of See what it looks like spinning. Spins a little fast, but uh, <clears throat> gives you an idea what it looks like. I'm sure, we can see that. So that's kind of a fun. We do sell the stands, the uh, ship flat. We have a bending instructions with them. Real easy to bend. Fits different sizes of wind spinners. Let's uh, press uh, one of these patriotic ones here. And we'll maybe 
press a leaf, something different, just keep the press going. Check out our comments. Um, so yeah, those of you that live uh, with somebody that's got a pickup or something, this is actually a receiver hitch cover. Um, so we're going to press that one now and I'll bend it. And it actually bends really cool and bends... Um, so we can uh, put it in your receiver. So it's a way that you could do something fun if your husband or family members or somebody fishes a lot or they're a veteran. Um, so there's lots of different ones that you could do with your own designs. Um, could be promotional items like we talked about last week. Um, so there's lots of different images you could put on there. Next week we're going to talk about uh, kind of featuring, jumping ahead a little bit of what's next week. We're going to be doing some license plate frames. Here happens to be NDSU where my daughter went to college. And then we'll also be, we also have uh, license plate blanks for those of you that are in states that you can have a full blank on the front. Um, Talking about uh, grind versus white. So here's one of our blanks that actually, we actually hand grind if you've seen previous videos. Um, so this is something that uh, we grind and then put on a clear coat. And then the translucent or the dye sub goes in. And uh, we'll press this one up next. But the advantage in the, the uh, grind is it really gives some, some sparkle and, and pop. Um, this one happens to be a northern. Jerry, help me remember what size uh, press do you have again in a printer? Could be a belt. Put the Gucci symbol on there, make it make a nice cheap Gucci belt. Uh, we sell them in uh, six packs. Uh, Corey should have them up now live. There, Erica just posted it. Thank you, Erica. I really liked how this one turned out. Kind of that marbling effect. Hey, we have a guest coming in. Not really a guest. Welcome, Don. Hi. How's everyone doing today? We just just pressed. Didn't this turn out cool? Uh huh. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's amazing how brilliant the colors come out. Yeah. And there's our your favorite. <laughs> your favorite. We we're, we're seem to be safe and throwing that on everything. Um, we had a few guesses on uh, what this was. I don't know if you you were a key part of kind of making this receiver cap. So yeah. did anyone guess correctly? Uh, nope. No. We had the we had the belt. Uh, um, printer. Jerry's got 11 by 19 printer. That's a pretty good size printer. Let's throw this fish on here. Make sure it fits on the press. Should be doing a duck in honor of Don. We, sh <laughs> we should be doing ducks because Don is a duck hunter. Everybody, I, I may go duck hunting now. Don asked questions on the hunting list, but 
Um, so here's our receiver hitch, Santa Claus's belt. And I'm going to show you. Well, that's what Jerry thinks it is. Um, Jerry says that, well, you sh well, I suppose the only way you can hear Don is through my speaker. Unless we, g unless we give you the guest speaker. I'll bet Jerry wants to hear you. Shouldn't have raised that. Everything's, everything's, everything's always, everything's always can, can and it you should hear be now. now. Jerry, can you hear Don now? You gotta wait for the comment, huh? Yeah. And okay, so let's uh, bend this. <laughs> so we're gonna bend so it ships flat, and we highly recommend um, that you bend this hot. So powder coating has a flexural strength, but it's uh, it's gonna not gonna crack when you bend it when it's warm. So we're going to bend this right around. There will be bending instructions. Uh, yes, they can hear you now, Don. Okay, that's good. You guys should say all over what I said earlier then. Yeah, Since 100%. No <laughs> <laughs> um, so you bend it right around. Um, fits in your receiver. You got a pinhole there. Uh, we're still modifying and tweaking them a little bit, but uh, the ones that you get will be fully Yeah, it is a new product, so there's always little adjustments you have to make in new products. But yeah, love to get some feedback on that. But yeah, like I was saying, it's uh, it's kind of a neat idea. Normally, uh, people just have a boring rubber thing on the back of their uh, car, and this kind of offers you a, a little bit of artwork or your own personal artwork, whatever you want to do. If you buy these blanks, you can put whatever picture. I think it's basically roughly four by six, so you know your standard photos could go on there, and and you know, and it's just uh, I think it's a pretty neat idea. It just kind of adds a little bit of color and stuff to the back of your vehicle there where you normally would just have a you know a boring rubber thing that goes in there so yeah a lot of people know. around here actually just leave they <laughs> leave their hitches in so they're welded in <laughs> they're rusted in yeah, so most people don't even have anything in them a lot of yeah. times they're just open um here's the leaf that we just pressed Automal, i think is the title of this one and then um if we haven't talked about brackets or seen us talk one thing that makes us unique is the brackets so that kind of bends um in a 90 and then back so you end up with a u shape and that's what holds it off from the wall and gives it that 3d effect um i think don does done really good at, at communicating and sending out templates and things so if you ever have any questions related to templates what should be happening is when you place an order um, they should be getting as a download in the, from Shopify, you should be able to download your, there's a link, is my understanding from Corey. But if you're not getting those, just reach out and then we'll email them to you. Yeah, and like this, uh, this particular one here is a new product, so I, I don't think we have a template quite made up yet, but we will um, have one made up shortly. We can get that up there as soon as we can. Um, just to get our little adjustments made to it. Yeah. Yep. And that's what's cool working with you guys, the campers, wall art, things like that. Uh, yes, you can get uh, Jerry templates for past orders. So if there's something that you're missing, if you have Don's email, just email Don directly. Otherwise, email sales at nextinnovations.net. Um, yeah, I don't know, they probably don't have my email out. Do they everyone know? what my email address is. You can type it in there if you want. Can I type it in here? Yeah. Okay. Right in the comments here? I'm new to Show this. Show this comments. over Don's right head. Here? Right here. Right there is where I type it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the fish. Can you feel the heat, Don? Yeah, I can feel the heat <laughs> over my shoulder there. Um, so yeah, that's a cool one with the grind. We'll let that cool off just a little bit. Throw something else on the press. It's all about interacting with you guys and trying uh, new things. So if definitely if you have comments or, or things that you're struggling with, um, especially on the template side, since we have Don here, um, Don is really good at figuring stuff out. We're going to throw another wind spinner on there so you can see what that looks like. Again, 385. Uh, three minutes and 45 seconds on the manual presses. Um, so here's what's cool about the uh, grind. 
you can kind of see there's a lot of gloss or glare here but we actually grind the product like you could see before it was finished so you can see the translucency of the metal through it um, and then the fin can be bent forward the, the uh, gills if that's if I'm saying that right Don you're more of a fisherman than me the gills all the different fins and then sometimes people even bend the water kind of in a little bit of a U to give it a shape so now the fish just is even more interactive kind of gives it some some depth like that shows there with the fins thank you Jerry yeah that's I really like the colors even for me it's like I uh, obviously have been here a long time but um, the dye sublimation part is what I love the best because the colors really pop and then also I think that uh, even though we're on the Facebook here uh, it's kind of dark or you, you really don't get the true effect to see how yeah. nice the colors look until you have the actual product and then you have it outside and it catches the light yep and that's where you can really notice it especially like this one's a kind of a marbling you know there's a lot of gloss with the camera um, but you can really see how realistic that that looks Um, we do have some really cool stocking uh, hangers that you can put your own art on. They come with a bending tool. Um, last time I didn't have my bending tool, so I kind of did them by hand. But they come with a bending tool, thanks Don, um, that you just bend. You, st you stick the hook in and just bend it over. Um, really a fun thing. Could be for a kid's room. Uh, Christmas themed or it could be uh, horse theme, equestrian, belts, any kind of different type. And then we do have that in a smaller version which is more of a key rack or jewelry, things like that. Tis the season so I would be amiss if I didn't talk about ornaments. Um, some cool camper ornaments that we came up with because of these groups with the dye sublimation. Um, we have a small wind spinner. I think, Don, the last time I checked, we're up to six sizes of wind spinners. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> you know, you can go all the way up to 36 inches now. Yeah, that 36. one's hanging in our front lobby if you ever want to stop in if you're local and see that. Yeah, 36 one. We have one on our gate that Corey made that's 48 inches. Oh, well, my wife said she wants to get one, but I'm not quite sure where we're gonna put it. You could put your pit. You could put your picture on one side and your wife's on the <laughs> other. Um, Snowflake, Minnesota. It could be a state. We do have all the states, so you can. Uh, the minimum is 12. Uh, leaps. Could be even an upside down leaf. So yeah, lots of different ornaments. Like Jerry said, lots of different uh, options. The nice thing on the ornaments is we do have uh, variety packs. So we're gonna pull this off the press. Maybe Don, would you mind putting that uh, Northern on there? Don will put something on the press. Um, so again, we're going to pull this off really slow so you can see. Uh, you kind of hear that sticking sound. So it's basically, you know, 400 degrees. You're pulling this off. Uh, and as it's burning my fingers. And the advantage, or one of the things you should do, is try to pull these things off really quickly. And I'm kind of glad this happened just for discussion point. Uh, but you did see a little bit of paper stick, especially down there on the bottom. And usually when it's warm, they'll just pull right off. If for some reason you had more of a paper stick, um, you can use Windex, just let it cool. Um, here's a cool one. It's actually an animated. So if this was spinning, the eagle's wings are up and the eagle's wings are down. Any comments, Don, on what causes paper sticking? Oh, well, there's, 
there's a lot of different effects. The pressure would affect it. The time would affect it. Um, humidity. The painting, the humidity. There's a lot of different things that will affect. And basically, we just got to sometimes try different things. I know we have had some people try more heat and less time. Uh, sometimes they have better luck with it that way, but it's just a kind of kind of a test thing. You got to kind of do it on your own, figure out what works best for your press. And all of our times and temperatures are based on uh, the print first and then the part. Um, the way to shorten that considerably the time if you're at a show or something where you're pressing live uh, would be to press up. So it would be the part and then the print on top. Uh, we find that it's significantly more efficient and faster for us in production um, to uh, put the paper first and then the part on top so it's easier for alignment. Yeah, alignment, because that's the whole reason, the main reason we do that is for alignment because you can see where the outside edge of the bleed is when you do it that way and, and you know, you can tell right where you need to line it up. Um, Jerry had a good question. Can you explain, Don, what these pluses are for? Yeah, they're just register marks. Uh, basically, this particular one here, we, we do both sides at one time, so since we have a larger printer, we just print the two sides, and then what we do is we just fold it in the middle, and we use these we use those register marks to line it up so that the top and the bottom line up on top of each other so that when they when it gets pressed that everything's lined up. So they're basically register marks. We use a light table in the back but uh, you could use a window um, otherwise like I showed earlier. This is kind of a this is an older design register mark if it was one of my designs I'd have a much better register mark than that. <laughs> um, and then Don uh, showed this example here's where we use uh, green tape so if you don't have a larger printer a um, little bit of time left here's one uh, I don't know if this was your design Don I think it was I'm gonna give you credit well, I just got it off our one of our archives and then you just yeah. put it together and I put like a sometimes you got to have like it helps on the bars the, um, the outside spinning bars if you have like a gradient because you get a little bit more flash from it then as it's spinning around great advice from the expert just gives it a little bit more active effect look to it when it's going around. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, we don't want you assuming. No assuming. <laughs> um, those of you that took advantage of the scallop deal, you know, um, that went ended yesterday, but we we're giving away free scallops. Hopefully, I don't know, Jerry, if you took advantage of that, but um, scallops, you could screw them right to the wall. You could do them as a wind spinner or just a hanger with leather. A little bit big for a necklace, but. Are you having trouble uh, with the clear sticking at all? I haven't yet. Oh, okay. Don't jinx like it. Like I said, you can, I mean, you can reduce your time a little bit. It's not going to affect the print very much if uh, you just reduce your time a little bit if you're having some trouble with sticking. But yeah, generally speaking on here, even with this press, we don't have a problem with sticking. Um, what I've found Want some gloves or? Wow. I don't have to touch it right away if you do it that way. That's true. You well, like you're to burn so your wise. hands. You're like you like to burn your hands. I don't like I to got, burn my well, hands. I got gloves on. I'm cheating. Um, so this you never uh, do anything with gloves on. <laughs> I don't normally. <laughs> gloves are hard to work with. Um, let's see. What else can we press? some ornaments there you want to throw some flip-flops on um, oh and then see if you can sneak this dragonfly down I got an assistant so um, huh. I'll do two things at once two things if at I can once. get them on there looks like that's gonna fit okay yeah sometimes when I get in a hurry I will not pay enough attention and I will have it hanging off the press so that's for sure you want to do that just like now I'm so off camera since I have a since I have a 16 by 20 press here I can put on more things than one I can do an ornament and then I can do a dragonfly at the same time and you can lay it over the other paper that doesn't hurt anything yep it, it is never a problem laying paper over paper and you just don't want metal metal over paper or excuse me, metal over metal. And you know, like I said, you know, the white ones, you know, if you want to have a, if you want to 
have a clean back on one side, you know, you can use a new piece of paper. If you want to, we, you know, typically use wall art as doesn't matter what's on the back, so we'll use paper over and over. But if you want to keep the backs clean, you just use a new piece of paper. Oh. And that happens, what you just uh, happened there is the, the part can shift, so make sure you check the part. Yeah, I just bumped it. Yeah, he bumped it, and that happens. Um, so Don's going to get that started. Here's the northern. Um, kind of do the bracket, show you how the brackets bend, and that's pretty much the same on all of our parts. Um, the brackets uh, come with bending instructions. You bend it out as from a 90 and then down again so it's kind of in a U. And then some of our products to hold it off the wall has a kicker that comes straight out at a 90. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so it kind of holds it off the wall. You can push out the fins on that one too. If we you can want. push the fins out. Sometimes you can put relief cuts in there so that you can actually make it even more 3D by making it interactive. It's called interactive 3D. Is that what we'd call it? It's got some sharp teeth. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> bend it's the, got some sharp teeth. And the, it does have some yeah. aggressive teeth. Really realistic. If anybody's a northerner, fisherman, things like that. And these were, uh, let's see, all drawn by our uh, artists that we contract with over in Spain, uh, Cano is his name, Jose Cano. Um, so that's uh, and really then, uh, cool. And uh, then he'll send us the artwork and then I'm the one that has to create the cut file from the artwork. Probably, uh, the, probably the most time consuming part with doing that is adding the bleed because you have to have bleed because if you don't have bleed, you're not gonna have anything going off the edge and then you end up with white edges or clear edges or you always got to add bleed to that stuff, and that's usually what takes the time. I think there was a question about why do you use paper maybe on both sides. Um, part of that is you don't want the uh, metal to stick to your plenum or your heater on top, which uh, we have had issues with that here, and that can be a challenge just getting that off and clean. But So, yeah, you want to use paper on both sides, top and the bottom. Jerry says, great job, Don, on the artwork. <laughs> um, let's see, more questions, if anybody has any. We'll let that come off. I, I am personally really excited about these hitches. I want to get you guys' feedback. I mean, you guys are very creative. Um, Erica says that we're goofballs. I don't know if I like that tone. <laughs> <laughs> Don is more of the goofball. Um, but yeah, really excited about these, you know, uh, minimum of six, so it's not a huge quantity, patriotic, just a way to really show off the back of your vehicle. So would love to hear some feedback and it's and all you about also purchasing. Put, you could also put text down and it says, I am a goofball. Yeah. Yeah. You could say I'm a goofball. <laughs> Don, Don might put that one on his vehicle. I would put that on more serious. Um, let's see. Well, any template questions or um, any suggestions, Don, if they have a two-sided part? Basically, your template comes with the two sides, right? No, it only comes with one side. So it only comes with one side. I'm glad I asked that so question. So you have to, well, mostly that's because uh, most printers aren't large enough for both sides on one piece. Yeah. So uh, we originally did some templates with two-sided, but they wouldn't fit certain pieces presses, so it really didn't do them any good. Um, you know, so, you know, we just started making one side and then putting register marks on each side so that you could just line it up on top of each other. We're getting some interesting comments, Don. They want to know where your elf onesie is. I think. Elf onesie. <laughs> yep. They want to know why I have a hat and you don't have a hat. And Erica <laughs> said you're supposed to be wearing an elf elf onesie. Well, I didn't even know I was going to be on today. I just came in here because I wanted to see all you people. He's he's bailing me out because he's a good friend. I'm see, struggling. See, I'm doing. See, you know, here I did two of them at one time, so I got. I did two at the one time, so you can. Use. Use a hook if you want a hook. You can show hmm. off your. You can show off your. Uh, so you don't. You don't. Like I said, you don't have to do one at a time. This is just a little. 
one of our mini ornament flip-flops. You know, this one here you can, on the back, since I didn't use a clear piece of paper, you can see just a little bit of Weed or ink that came off the paper. Um, Don has done wonderful. I mean, here's some dragonflies. I don't know if we've pressed these before. they got a lot of relief cuts. Gives it some real real life um and they bend real nice they too. bend really nice and then don on Things. our butterflies is even on these i think you've done different colors so oh yeah these, we've had various different colors yeah so you guys can really add whatever colors you want and there's nothing right or wrong um but yeah we're going to bend this one so for example like don said the wings you can bend the wings up so it does have some 3d effect you can bend the what do they call these things now? Oh yeah, antennas. 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 Um, so you can bend it. Um, does have a bracket. Um, one major thing I you know always sometimes forget that uh, these are made for inside or outside. So a lot of people will hang these. Yeah, they're all powder coated. They're all powder they're coated. Outdoor use. Outdoor use. Yep. So that that's kind of a fun one. Um, but yeah, maybe ending, just definitely take advantage of this. Minimum order, 75. You'll get one of these for free. Um, a blank, and then you can try it out. Appreciate all of you guys' uh, comments. And it kind of makes things go a little quicker. Thanks, Don, for coming in. Erica being online. Uh, Erica just posted our phone number. Definitely reach out to us. Happy holidays. We appreciate you guys supporting uh, our company and uh, purchasing USA Made. Happy holidays. Don, any words of wisdom? Uh, I don't have words of wisdom. Just everyone have a Merry Christmas. If I don't see you, well, I guess we got a Christmas party coming up at 3 online. Yeah, we have another one online, yeah. And I've Elf. never been on an online Christmas party before, <laughs> so that ought to be interesting. We need to get you that Elf onesie. Um, elf onesie. You're not going to get me in an elf onesie. Oh, yeah, we get you in one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Why do you turn them off? <laughs>